Just a few years ago, astronomers were lucky to discover vague ghosts of planets in distant star systems. Today, astronomers aren't only discovering hundreds of exoplanets, they're also starting to peel away their atmospheres to discover the elements that live inside. For the first time, scientists have discovered a carbon dioxide sign above a gas giant in another star system. The discovery was made possible by the James Webb Space Telescope, which has allowed scientists to see into faraway skies with more detail than any previous telescope. NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has also captured the distinct signature of water, along with evidence for clouds and haze, in the atmosphere surrounding a hot, puffy gas giant planet orbiting a distant sun-like star. The observation, which reveals the presence of specific gas molecules based on tiny decreases in the brightness of precise colors of light, is the most detailed of its kind to date, demonstrating Webb's unprecedented ability to analyze atmospheres hundreds of light years away. It's a fantastic result on its own. It's also a dress rehearsal for JWST to witness the same phenomenon on smaller, more Earth-like planets. Hello and welcome to new episode. In today's video we will dive into details of James Webb Telescope's fantastic discovery on WASP exoplanet. Before we get started make sure to subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell. It helps you to get notified when we post more contents just like this. So, without further ado, let's get started. The James Webb Space Telescope is a space telescope that was built mainly for infrared astronomy. As the biggest optical telescope in space, its high infrared resolution and sensitivity enable it to see objects too early, distant, or faint that the Hubble Space Telescope cannot see. Looking back in time to when galaxies were first formed is one of the goals of the telescope. Webb will do this by observing galaxies located more than 13 billion light, years away from Earth. When a telescope observes objects that are farther distant from Earth, it is also effectively looking back in time. It takes time for the light the telescope Telescope is receiving to travel through space. Since light has traveled for billions of years across the cosmos to reach us, we thus see objects not as they are now but as they were when they released the light. To observe such faint and distant objects, the telescope requires a massive mirror to capture the light. The sensitivity of a telescope, or how much detail it can see, is determined by the size of its mirror area. The Webb telescope can view further back in time than Hubble because it has a significantly larger mirror. The red and infrared light that is traveling across space is intercepted by Webb's main mirror, which then reflects the light onto a secondary mirror that is far smaller. The secondary mirror then directs the light into the scientific instruments where it is recorded. Because the telescope will be detecting very faint infrared signals, it has to be shielded from any bright, hot sources such as the sun. A sun shield separates the hot and cold sides of the telescope, which have significantly different temperatures. Webb will study the universe primarily in infrared wavelengths, while Hubble will study it mostly in optical and ultraviolet wavelengths, though it does have some infrared capability. Because recently formed stars and planets are often hidden behind masses of dust that absorb visible light, infrared observations are crucial to astronomy. These obstacles may be penetrated using using infrared light. We can see this with the Webb telescope because infrared light won't bounce off of the dust particles but will instead travel around them. And that's one of our main goals, said John Mather, principal project scientist for the Webb telescope at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center in Greenbelt, Maryland. The telescope won't circle the Earth as Hubble does. Instead, it will circle the Sun at what is known as the second Lagrange point, or L2, which is about 1.5 million kilometers from the Earth. Lagrange points, named for its discoverer, 18th century mathematician Joseph Louis Lagrange, allow the gravitational attraction of two massive masses to equal the force necessary for a tiny object, such as a satellite, to move with them. Webb will take around 30 days to reach the start of its orbit at the L2 position. About 700 light years from Earth, WASP 39b is located in the Virgo constellation. A gas giant with a radius even larger than Jupiter, WASP-39b has a mass that is around one-fourth that of Jupiter. It orbits its host star very closely, about one-twentieth as near as Earth is to the Sun. The orbit of WASP-39b is lucky for astronomers since it allows us to see it edge on. Because of the planet's size and close proximity to its star, it blots out enough light to slightly dim the star. Our technologies can detect that little drop. It's a common method for discovering exoplanets, particularly big ones. It was exactly how they discovered WASP-39b in 2011. The wide-angle search for planets, the sky survey astronomers used to locate it, gave the planet its name. The discovery of WASP-39b also suggests that we should explore the planet's atmosphere. JWST's pass at the planet wasn't astronomers' first attempt at observing WASP-39 seconds atmosphere. NASA's Hubble and Spitzer telescopes were used by researchers in 2018 to find evidence of water vapor on the planet. WASP-39b is a gas giant that may be seen using a telescope. As WASP-39b passed in front of its star, some of the star's light passed through the planet's atmosphere. During the process, the components blocked out particular wavelengths of the electromagnetic spectrum of that distant starlight. 
Different substances left different fingerprints on the spectrum. Astronomers from Earth can play celestial forensic scientists. They can examine those fingerprints and reconstruct what chemicals caused them. There is an instrument on JWST called NIR spec that is made to do just that. In the case of WASP-39b, scientists discovered spectral signatures in the deep infrared area of the electromagnetic spectrum, which has wavelengths between 4.1 and 4.6 microns. These blips show a clear carbon dioxide signature. Other gases, like as methane and water vapor, have been detected in the atmospheres of exoplanets. But, until recently, finding carbon dioxide has been more difficult. James Webb Space Telescope can explore with far better resolution than any previous telescope. Astronomers didn't hesitate to applaud the resolution's achievement. Seeing the data for the first time was like reading a full poem when we only knew every third word before, said Laura Kraidberg of Germany's Max Planck Institute for Astronomy. While carbon dioxide may enter the atmosphere for a variety of causes, including biological activity, chemical reactions in rocks, and industrial civilization, scientists can learn a few things from its presence. Astronomers may discover how much gaseous material went into the formation of a gas giant by monitoring carbon dioxide in its atmosphere. Some of JWST's mission objectives include exoplanets. Scientists want to use the telescope to learn more about how exoplanets form, what they look like, and whether or not they can support life. WASP-39b isn't really a target to look for life. Not only is it a gas giant, but its proximity to its star allows it to boil at 900 degrees Celsius. However, the number of Earth-sized planets at colder distances is growing. This discovery, therefore, is a promising indication that the telescope will be able to do similar observations with their atmospheres, if they exist. In a news release, Natalie Badala, an astronomer at the University of California, Santa Cruz, said, Detecting such a clear signal of carbon dioxide on WASP-39b bodes well for the discovery of atmospheres on smaller, terrestrial-sized planets. Astronomers believe that a combination of carbon dioxide and methane in a planet's atmosphere might be a biosignature, or evidence of life. According to Christiansen, WASP-39b B's signal is halfway to a decent biosignature. Battle his team developed a model that predicts the planet's atmosphere includes water, carbon monoxide, and hydrogen sulfide, but little methane. In the end, detecting life will very certainly need a more sophisticated observatory than Webb. However, according to Badala, this is a very important phase that we need to pass through in order to be ready for that technology in the future. Don't be shocked if further exoplanet-related findings are made in the following months. This discovery was made as part of JWST's early release science program, which aims to get JWST's results into the hands of exoplanet searchers as quickly as possible. It's clear that astronomers have barely scratched the surface of what JWST can see. Do you think the James Webb Telescope will find an alternative Earth-like planet in the near future? And when an Earth-like planet was discovered, would you move there? Tell us your thoughts in the comments below. And thanks for watching the video. If you want to continue to learn about everything regarding space, we've got two more video options for you on the screen to check out. And don't forget to give a thumbs up on this video if you liked it and subscribe to Electric World channel for daily content just like this.